What is going on, you guys? Welcome to the Razzy Podcast. This is your host, Christopher Zamora. Welcome to the show. So today, guys, I want to speak to you about a fight that is coming up, a boxing one. And it is for the title of the 140 division. It's going to be Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Finally, man, finally, we got this match. This match is going to be good. Oh, I know it, man. I know it's going to be great. On the last fight for Devin Haney, the guy that he fought, I do not remember his name right now, but he did well. I got to admit, Devin Haney did well against him. And he seemed like he was outboxing him the whole time. And he was getting good hits as well. And I think one time he dropped him, I think around round three or so. Yeah, and supposedly the other guy, he was pretty good. But yeah, that's that was good for Devin Haney. I'm not a big fan of Devin Haney, man. I'm hoping that Ryan Garcia does the job, man, and gets at least a KO or a TKO against Devin Haney. That would be the best, man. That would be the the greatest moment in modern boxing if Devin Haney actually goes down. But to be honest, man, this is going to be a difficult fight for Ryan Garcia. Or maybe not. Because supposedly both of them have fought each other already. They fought each other in their amateur days. Both of them have won three wins from each other. They have fought six times. Devin Haney won three times. Ryan Garcia had won three times. And now, for this one, in their pro career, we're going to find out who is the best one. The bracket needs to break. So we're going to find out who is the best fighter out of the two. My bet is for Ryan Garcia to win this fight. I'm hoping, man. <laughs> I'm hoping he actually gets the job done. That's going to be an amazing fight, dude. Ryan Garcia's last opponent that he fought, Oscar Duarte. In the beginning rounds, it seemed like he was giving him a hard time. But to be honest, it's because Ryan Garcia was trying something new, like his defense. He was doing the Philly show, like how Floyd Mayweather does it. But the thing is, <laughs> it looked strange. It didn't look normal it looked awkward so i don't know if he's actually going to try to do the same plan against devin haney like the same defense but yeah probably he's going to have to change his stance i really don't know what he's gonna do but devin haney is a tricky fighter he mostly focuses on his defense and he tries to get the best shots when he has the right uh, timing. So yeah. Let's see let's see how Ryan Garcia does man. This is going to be a crazy good fight. And it's going to be on April 20th. A month later after my birthday. Because my birthday is on March 20th. It's going to be on 420. Yeah. We're going to see man. <laughs> I am excited about this fight. Speaking of other fights, I saw Teofimo Lopez fight his opponent against uh, this guy named Ortiz. Lots of people are saying that this was a robbery. But I had to say that it wasn't. It seemed like Ortiz was winning because he was getting a lot of good shots at him. But it really wasn't because he was mostly running away from Teofimo Lopez. I have no idea how the judges actually scored this fight. Because what I saw most of the time was Ortiz running away from Teofimo Lopez. And like Lopez was going after him. And well, I did see him missing some and like Ortiz was getting him. I guess that's how. But, like, most of the fight, Ortiz was actually <laughs> running away from Teofimo Lopez and was trying to pick his shots. 
Or maybe that's why. Maybe that's how they came to a decision that Ortiz won the fight. But nah, man. I feel like the rightful winner actually won. It kind of sucks that people are saying that Ortiz, he's a boring fighter. And that they chose the right guy. That's fucked up, man. Come on. Canelo doesn't really talk that much when he was like in his early days in his early boxing days <sighs> but come on man it, because of his personality that's why people are going after him and like Teofimo Lopez we all know that he's a very loud guy and talks smack to his opponents but that sucks that they they actually just talk about his personality and stuff that he's just not a great look for boxing which is pretty messed up, man. Whoever deserves the win, deserves the win. And for this one, I do believe that Teofimo Lopez got the job done. Not convincingly, but it was a close fight. That's what I believe. Yeah. Not by a very long shot that Teofimo Lopez won this one. So yeah, man. Yep, Teofimo Lopez won that one. Now, guys, I want to speak to you about the Xbox. I'm just switching gears to gaming now. If you guys are a fan of Microsoft and the Xbox, you probably um, uh, might already heard rumors that supposedly some exclusives like Starfield and Gears of War, they're coming to the PlayStation. That would be fucking insane, dude. That would be really insane because Gears of War is basically the top two franchises of Microsoft and Xbox and I was so surprised when I heard this dude it's just insane it would be crazy if they actually do decide to actually bring this this uh, franchise to the PlayStation because other franchises from the Xbox will follow Pursuit. That is a major thing, man. If Halo actually <laughs> goes on the PlayStation, then I believe it could be game over for the Xbox. Could it be? We do not know. And also, there was an exclusive coming out for Indiana Jones, the newest video game that they announced. Supposedly it was going to be an exclusive just for the Xbox, but then they changed their mind. They're planning on releasing the video game also on the PlayStation. Well, before the they announced that, they said that this one is coming for the Xbox and also for PC. So I was excited because since I own the Steam Deck, and I always like play my games now on the Steam Deck. I was excited because I'm able to play it. I am able to play that game on the Steam Deck on the go anywhere I want. It doesn't need to be just in my bedroom. I could just play anywhere I want for the Steam Deck. So it's badass. I already told you guys like months ago about the Steam Deck. That is the greatest system ever created. You can have like any single game that you want from the Steam Deck store and you could just buy them, play them anywhere you want to. And damn, man, it's just such a great system that it was created. This is what I was expecting for the Nintendo Switch to actually be. But no, they only mostly focus on Nintendo products like Super Mario, Luigi's Mansion. They're all great games, but we need other games like The Last of Us. You can play you can play it on the Steam Deck. The Last of Us Part 1. And also, they're going to put Part 2 maybe later on this year on the Steam Store. So that would be awesome to play as well. I'm not playing it because I hate the goddamn story for The Last of Us Part 2. If you guys already know, <laughs> oh no, this, to me, to my, in my opinion, I did not like the story how it went for that video game. 
So yeah. And now one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about wrestling. The WWE. Lately I've been talking about <laughs> the WWE for a few podcasts already. Because I am excited, man. I am excited to see what is going to happen next. On the last podcast, I told you about Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble, right? And also that The Rock, he took his spot so he can fight Roman Reigns for the title at WrestleMania. Now, on the kickoff show that they announced this past Thursday, Triple H confirmed on that day, that same day that Cody Rhodes is going to fight Roman Reigns and it's not going to be The Rock. Damn, man. That's good. That's dope. Cody Rhodes is going to get a second chance to fight Roman Reigns. And maybe he can actually beat him this time. But we will see, man. Will they actually give him the title this time? It really just depends, man. And also, The Rock, he became a heel. If you don't know wrestling terms, a heel means a villain. He is now part of the bloodline because supposedly Cody Rhodes, he said something about his his father. It was going to be a shame of Roman Reigns. And now The Rock is now sided with Roman Reigns because they're bonded by blood. You know, I saw one comment on Twitter stating that they want The Rock to interfere during the match at WrestleMania. And it seemed like Roman Reigns is going to win. But then you hear the glass shudder. And then you hear Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. That would be insane, dude. That would be so badass if Stone Cold, man. If Stone Cold actually comes out and beats The Rock up. And we will get Cody Rhodes to actually beat Roman Reigns finally. For the title at WrestleMania. That would be so insane if that actually happens, dude. But knowing the WWE, maybe they're not going to bring Stone Cold Steve Austin. They might just bring John Cena. I like John Cena, but it's better if Stone Cold Steve Austin actually comes out. Because Stone Cold and The Rock, these two, they were the main faces of the Attitude Era. And it'll be awesome for them to actually face to face each other for one last time. Not for a match, just only during this match. They might fight for s- some time. And it'll be awesome, man. It'll be awesome to see this. If I'm on the crowd, I'll be so excited now and I'll be screaming like for this. It'll be so badass, dude. But nah, the <laughs> WrestleMania is at Philadelphia, man, and I'm in Texas. <laughs> Yeah, it's all the way up there. I'm not going to win to a 10. <laughs> Even though I want to, but yeah, it is kind of far away from home. So yeah, but it's going to be an epic night. Hopefully, man. Hopefully they come up with something great. Something like that. It'll be so, so cool. And people will probably be more excited to actually watch wrestling again. I think the last great era for wrestling was probably the Ruthless Aggression era. That was when I was not even a teen. I was probably like 7 through 12 years old. They were still making making good storylines. Eddie Guerrero, Edge, Kane, even Chris Benoit as well. These were all great wrestlers at the time, and they all all had great storylines as well. And Mr. McMahon, he was there too. And John Cena, he became the face of the Ruthless Aggression Era. So yeah, it'll be so dope if they actually do come up with something great for this WrestleMania. Come on, man, it's WrestleMania 40. They need to come up with something great. It'll be so badass, man. I am excited for this pay-per-view. Let's see how it actually goes, man. This is going to be a good one. I know it. And yeah, guys, that is it for this podcast. Hey, thank you so much for listening. If you guys did enjoy this podcast, make sure to actually subscribe to the channel on YouTube and also follow it 
on whichever platform you are listening to it. If you're listening to it on Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, make sure to follow it. And also recommend this podcast to a friend or a neighbor that actually likes listening to stuff about wrestling, gaming, and boxing stuff. Maybe they will enjoy this podcast as much as you do as well. And you guys can just talk about it too. And yeah, guys, that is it for this podcast. Again, thank you so much for listening. Take care and live to the fullest. Bye.